All right, for part C of the problem, our goal is to find the electric field within these two cavities. So we'll start off with the cavity, this, this A cavity right here. So we'll just go ahead and denote that by uh, E sub A, the electric field, right? And so we know it's probably going to have some form of 4 pi epsilon naught, right? So if we look at this electric field just in the cavity, let's like reduce all of space uh, to this spherical volume right here. Let me just go ahead and zoom in, actually. We're going to reduce space to the zero spherical volume, so we're just going to assume like everything outside just doesn't exist right here and just only concentrate in here. So we already said that there is uh, a negative charge that accumulates uh, on the inside surface of the spherical charge, of the spherical cavity right here, so that it perfectly cancels out the electric field, uh, or the electric fields terminate onto the outside of this spherical cavity right here, thanks to this positive QA charge right here. And so what that's gonna look like, the electric field lines are gonna go emanate from the uh, QA and terminate onto the inside surface of the spherical cavity right here, right? So we know that the electric field goes radially outwards, right? And has a magnitude as if it was only just this QA right here. So inside, we'll go ahead and zoom out. So inside of that uh, electric field, of that uh, spherical cavity, is equal to just like a, the point charge, as if the point charge was QA, right? And it radially outwards into R squared, or, uh, yeah. So we'll call, we'll, like I said, we're going to reduce space, so we're just going to call this space radially outward uh, R sub A, R hat sub A. That just means that um, for every unit of distance that you get away from here, that electric field is going to change uh, in accordance with uh, this this relationship right here, and it's in the direction that the points relative from the center of where the location of the QA is all the way outwards here. And then whenever we go ahead and look at that second one here for QB, it's going to be the exact same thing, except we're just going to change all the letters to, to B because it's still some sort of charge that's called uh, QB. And as you go outwards, some distance R sub B away from that center charge right here, um, all the way out to uh, some distance B, and that's where the electric field lines are gonna terminate. So we can just say from zero to A here, and then from zero to B. Actually, that's technically uh, not true. We can't just divide by zero, so to be fully uh, correct, we just go ahead and change it to that because uh, this all blows up here at the center. That's a topic for another <laughs> another problem actually.